finally going back to the fatal night on Brendock when main Osha's family were slaughtered, the Acolyte Episode 7 started to solve some of the show's many mysteries. Since Brendock was the location of one of the main mysteries in the Acolyte, it was one of the most significant planets to be introduced. The witches of Brendock were destroyed in Brendock, 16 years before the events of the Acolyte. The latest episode of the Star Wars television series provided an additional background for one of the show's most well-held and significant secrets, that night. Although Brendock played a significant role in May and Osha's past, it appeared that neither of them was fully aware of what transpired that evening. When Brendock made his initial appearance in the Acolyte Episode 3, a lot of questions remained unanswered. Thankfully, the Acolyte Episode 7 provided answers to a number of those queries. Regretfully, it accomplished this by altering significant elements of Episode 3, which somewhat confused the truth of Brendock. Knowing the truth about the tragedy of Brendock is crucial since it will probably play a significant role in the Acolyte's conclusion. From the beginning, the Jedi's purpose for visiting Brendock appeared dubious and linked to the show's greater enigma. On the other hand, the Acolyte Episode 7 disclosed that the reason the Jedi were on Brendock was to search for a Force Virgins. The Force naturally congregated at a location known as a Force Virgins, which gave Force users access to amazing abilities they wouldn't normally have. It would appear that the Jedi had a good cause for being on Brendock, as Virgences were fairly significant and the Jedi Order frequently attempted to study any of them they could discover. It was a total coincidence that they found the witches of Brendock and their children, as all they were searching for was Brendock's Force Virgins. The Jedi were not searching for the witches of Brendock, rather, they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Sol just happened to come upon May and Osha when searching for signs of the Force Virgins. The discovery of the twins was a total coincidence, but the Acolyte Episode 7 didn't absolve Sol. The Jedi went back to their camp after their initial meeting with the witches of Brendok, where they examined May and Osha's Force sensitivity. When Master Indara approached the Jedi High Council for advice on what to do next on Brendok, the Council advised them to leave the Coven and the twins by themselves. But for separate reasons, Torbin and Sol defied the Council's orders and returned to the facility to get May and Osha. Since Sol was already emotionally invested in Osha, he went back, Torbin's logic was a little more nuanced. In the seventh episode of The Acolyte, Torbin voiced his desire to go back to Coruscant. Indara corrected him on several occasions, saying they weren't going to leave Brendok until they had evidence of the Force Virgin's existence. Torbin went back for the twins because he was desperate to get back to Coruscant and thought that May and Osha were evidence of the existence of the Virgins on Brendok. Torbin believed he possessed the twins' blood samples, which demonstrated they were formed using Brendok's Force Virgins, and that this was his pass to return to Coruscant. The two accounts of that night differed in a few of the Brendok-related facts that were presented previously in the Acolyte. May ignited the fire in order to keep Osha from leaving, as revealed in the third episode of Acolyte. Even though May started the fire, the Acolyte episode 7 showed that it was entirely accidental and that she had no intention of starting it or killing her sister. However, the Acolyte episode 7 included a crucial piece of the night that the previous episode completely skipped over, so it wasn't the only way it altered May's part in the coven's demise. The Jedi were far more culpable than May ever was, even though the witches of Brendok had previously appeared to perish from the fire. Mother Anasia and Kirill were encountered by Sol and Torbin while searching for the twins. Attempting to escape with May with her Force abilities, Anasia was fatally slashed by Sol using his lightsaber. Due to Sol's rash choice, the witches and the Jedi engaged in combat. Eventually, the witches utilized their witchcraft to take control of Kalnaka and make him fight other Jedi. Once Kalnaka was freed, the remaining witches were either murdered or rendered unconscious by Indara's actions. Following the removal of the witches, Indara dispatched Sol to collect Osha and Mei. But by the time he reached there, the building had exploded all around them, and they were already on the descending platforms. Sol attempted to use the force to hold them both aloft, but he was unable to do so and had to release one of the twins. Sol decided to save Osha at that precise time and to let May die, as far as he was concerned. Sol returned Osha to the ship when he made his decision, and the Jedi departed for Coruscant. While on Brendok, 
the Jedi made some grave and disastrous errors in judgment. Sol told the other Jedi that he wished to come clean to the High Council and that he felt deep regret for his part in the night's events. But Indara convinced him not to. Indara promised to present their own version of events to the Council, one that blamed May for the Coven's demise and excluded their part in it. She clarified that after losing her entire family, Osha would find it too difficult to pursue her dream of becoming a Jedi if Sol came clean. With the truth about that fateful night on Brendok finally out in the open, who knows what the ramifications will be? Since he still had May imprisoned on the ship in the Acolyte Episode 6, it appears that Sol informed May of his version of events that night. This implies that Osha is still unaware of the true circumstances surrounding her family's demise, which could lead to a highly dramatic encounter between her and Sol. It is quite unlikely that anything positive could come from the truth about Brendok, even though only the Acolyte Episode 8 can demonstrate exactly what impacts it will have. The truth is, it is incredibly combustible. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.